Well, hey there, team, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome to the long dark. Today, we're having a look at survival mode. This is, for those who aren't aware, uh, this is one of my favorite games of all time. I constantly look at it on the channel. <laughs> occasionally, it gets some traction. Occasionally, not. But uh, but easily, easily be in my top ten of favorite games out there for sure. Um, Hesitant Prospect is the iteration on this game. Just really quickly, Soldiers 5, uh, it does have a campaign. I'm not that interested in the campaign. I love the survival mode. This is the most brutal, and I mean, I don't want to say realistic, but probably compared to its contemporaries, uh, survival game on the market, where you're trying to live through um, uh, essentially a winter state of a, there's been some sort of geo storm, bloody knocked out all the electronics and that. So you're surviving in this Canadian wilderness with hyper aggressive bloody um, wolves and wildlife, and you have to, you know, you have to boil ice down into water to drink it. You have to carve up carcasses, but you have to thaw them out if they're frozen. You have to navigate the dark and craft all your food and survival gear and just live as long as you possibly can. It's a struggle, it's difficult, and it's beautiful. Um, so anyway, the version that we've got now, Hesitant Prospect, has just released. Um, it's got a few features. Uh, it, it's got an entirely new region, which is this one, with this, like, burnt-out forest by the look of it, which is fascinating, if we ever get to it. Um, um, what are they called? Cru cr croutons? Croupons? <laughs> Probably not croutons. Um, like, uh, like, you know, snowshoe, metal snow spike shoes. Apparently they help with sprains if you find them. Um, and you can walk on ice a bit better because you can fall on the ice in this. There's a upgraded backpack you can find. Um, and then they've also gone and integrated uh, the Halloween event into a challenge mode. I don't look at the challenge mode too much because I'm still smitten with the survival mode. So there are some upgrades that won't necessarily affect us too heavily, but it's still worth noting and, and rattling off. You, maybe you came looking for Hesitant Prospect to understand what it is, and that's the broad strokes of what uh, what is included in the update. So what we're going to do is we're going to kick off survival mode. We're going to start a new one. We're not playing on Interloper because I believe Interloper takes the fun out of the game because all it really does is takes a lot of items and stuff out of the game to make it difficult. Uh, Stalker is probably the hardest you can get with the normal game experience as well. Oh, now look at this. You can pick where to start. Now, this is Ash Canyon. That is the new area. Ah. Or you can do random, of course. Random is definitely an opportunity, uh, a possibility as well. Now, what is the... Is Broken Railroad, uh, Coastal Highway, Desolation Point... This is cool to see this. I didn't know... I don't know any of this stuff. This is great. Usually, I just go random. Uh, I think Pleasant Valley is the, the easiest start. For advanced players, maybe not. Mystery Lake? Is it Mystery Lake? Ideal for new players. A balance between... Yeah, see there, you've got the train line through there, and it goes up to the dam as well. Um, a balance between wilderness and man-made shelters, resources, and wildlife. You know what? I might... I'm a bit rusty. I'm, I'm getting into it. I, the last few runs that we've done, we just randomly end up in a bloody snowstorm. Let's just start out at Mystery Lake to, uh, to sort of get the ball rolling, hey? Let's just play as the male, whatever. And this is the only thing that I've got unlocked. Uh, I think with the new event, it might be here at the end, Dark Walker. You can get that from the new event as well. Okay. So maybe I should look into doing the challenges to get these feats for us to last longer in survival mode. I might really make an effort to make this more of a regular staple on the channel. I would like very much, actually, to have a chunk of my YouTube time dedicated to playing this game. I'm a big fan. We played it a lot more back in the day. Oh, The Road. I really should read that book again. What a bleak, awful story. <laughs> but probably totally suitable for this game. All right. Wow, listen to that. Listen to the trees going. All right, so it's been a long time since I've played. Okay, look at this. We've started... It's been a long time since I've been to this area, actually. We've started right here. Uh, next to this little encampment, little logging camp. 
Yeah, let's make this place our home. Or you know what I mean, this this region. We really want some sticks. You can see my 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 statistics, my vitals are down the bottom left. Uh, essentially, if any of them hits red, I start to cop it on the health bar. Uh, which is below. And it's quite difficult. No, 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 we don't want to do that. That's a good way to freeze to death. It's quite difficult to actually regain your health. You know, no magic potions to get it back instantly. It's a bit of a time thing. Logging camp. Yeah. You see how pitch black it is in here? It's not that bad. What I might actually do, uh, display, what if we, um, screen mode, oh, okay, I don't think you can actually adjust draw distance, re like we've got shadows and resolution, all that sort of stuff, but I don't think we can actually adjust the, um, the gamma, because the game leans into the pitch blackness. Oh wow, this bloke's not doing so well. But quite often I, I boost the gamma in post. Yeah, so we could potentially cut all that up. Bed? No, it's, we're all right. We're actually warming up a fair bit in here, so that's good news. Shelf, shelf. Okay, there's nothing too exciting. Well, here we go. Tin of sardines. Is there something else in there? Oh, an old-fashioned parker. Nice. We're going to chuck that on. That'll warm us right up. Just have a... I don't know. We already checked that. Bit of cloth. Oh, a storm lantern. Oh, now that is a blessing. Very good. Um, I might actually break this down by hand. How long is that going to take? 15 minutes. It'll warm us up while we sort of idle here. Some reclaimed wood will go a long way. Um, just got to look in the shelf. The holes. Um, okay. We'll go outside. It's nice that it's warm inside these. This is a pretty strong start, to be perfectly honest. What can what can I make of this building here? Oh, rose hips. So you can turn these into like a sort of remedy. I think, oh, uh, well, there you go. We can only get two. Okay. Hope I can still eat this. Dog food, absolutely. You can eat that. Wood stove. Um, that's handy. I will take a, a crow feather because the crows tend to circle corpses. None out at the moment. Okay. Well, this seems to have actually quite a, a few things here. Having a flare would be very helpful. So it's, it's good against wolves, I've found. Okay. Reclaimed wood. Not the world's worst start, I'll tell you that. Oh, some extra jeans. I could use another layer of them, please. It'd be toasty warm before you know it. This stuff will come in handy. Bit of uh, an orange drink. Work boots, okay, cool. Oh, in every way better. That's what you want to hear. Okay. Nice. And it is warm in here. Can I break the chair down by hand? I will. See, because the time passes. You've got to be careful doing these tasks, say, if you're in a cold area. Sounds like the wind's picking up outside. Okay. Well, we've still got another one of these, you know... Demountables to check out. Oh my goodness. 
surprisingly not that cold. I'm going to check these porta potties if uh, can we do anything with them? Can we? No. Okay, no, it is cold. I just must have had a bit of wind cover. Always good to check underneath. Oh, there's some boots down there. Nice. Stack of papers. Very handy. Any chance that these boots are better than the... Uh... Doesn't seem to be. Yeah. Can opener, oh my god. What a win. Alright, so now what? Um, we're pretty good for fatigue and temperature, which is interesting. Like, we could potentially maybe sleep for an hour or something like that to see if we can get that blizzard to maybe move on. That might be a move. Um, I might just do that. I'll just rest for a, a, a quick little hour. No, it doesn't seem to be. It doesn't seem to be. I don't really want to uh, go out in that because there's no visibility. So, hang on, let me think. Um, we've got spare boots, right? Can I... No, I don't want to repair them. I actually want to... Harvest. Harvest cured leather. That's pretty good. It's going into night time now. We'll harvest these shoes as well. Now, the thing is, we don't really have a stove. There is a stove outside. Ah, here we go. My God, it is pitch black. Um, if I try and bring up the storm lantern. And I, does it, it's got some oil in it. It's full, actually. That's wonderful. Look at that. Okay, wonderful. So what we might do is go check out the, uh, that little stove. Oh. Oh, that's cool. You can put it down. Yeah, there won't be much more exploring tonight, I don't think. I'll take the charcoal. In fact... No map. Probably can't do it in the dark. I might try and do it in the... Oh, you know what, actually? We'll get this stove going. Um... Do we have accelerant? We do. Chance of success is already 45. I'd rather use a stick or something. 55. We'll use the book, whatever. It's there to be used. As long as we don't use the training map. We do have a training book, which is good, so we could potentially read that. It's tough to find the time to do that when you're doing things like... you got to supervise the food, and it doesn't really cook in round hours. Uh, let's make some water. We'll fill that up. Alright. Um, cook. No cooking pots or... What we might do is... Uh, we could probably turn this off. While that stove's gone. Add a bit of fuel. 
Cedar firewood, yeah, okay. It's not keeping me very warm, so we've got to keep an eye on that. Um, what was I going to do? I was going to eat, actually. No, I don't necessarily... Can we cook the dog food up? Probably not. All right, I'm going to eat the dog food because we've got the can opener. And that hopefully will generate a can for me to cook more water in. And just eat some dog food. Oh, look at that. Yum. Recycled can. There we go. Water. Oop. Six minutes. So we'll pass the time. we just got to be careful that we don't get too cold. Oh, look, we're getting the heat up now, which is good. 43 minutes still. We'll drink that. Make the most of this opportunity to cook up as much water as we can. The excess should have gone into storage just then. 25 minutes. Eighteen minutes. Oh, okay. I probably want to keep cooking. So let's chuck some in there. Forty-six minutes. Okay. I'll drink a little bit, but the rest will go into storage. minutes we might as well i won't put any more fuel on but we'll cook through until it runs out take charcoal we've got some spare sort of unsafe water Creepy, isn't it? At least we're a bit tired, so that's good. So we're gonna. How handy is this storm lantern? Making life very easy. So, what if we sleep for like four hours or something? So this is a special sort of unusual event, right? I think it is. If you go out in this, I think the wolves are hyper aggressive. Hmm. Is this enough light for me to read, though? Because we had a training book. Yes, okay, beauty. Improves cooking skill by 10 points. Two out of five hours researched. Well, this is a handy turn. Um, what have we got in the way of food? Not much, just the tuna that we found. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat it now, or sardines, sorry. Yeah, so we're definitely, oh, you know what, I'll drink this as well. We're gonna need to kill some rabbits or something, or at least scavenge some more. Let's fill right up, get rid of that weight, that water weight, you know? Sun's starting to come up. 
wonder if I can get one more hour in. Let's just finish the... Does this finish the book in its entirety? Is that how it works? Yeah, okay. I guess the book's finished. That's cool. And we're probably ready to step off. To be honest, an hour of sleep would go a long way, I would say. Oh, maybe not. You have survived 18 hours. That's not bad. Just listening to all the creaking and stuff. Uh, they're hanging around over over that corpse where he looked at. Where to go? Oh wow, we are getting very cold. Okay, so actually. I want I wanted to map the area. This is gonna make me very cold. Logging camp. Backpack. Cedar limb. Frozen corpse. Oh there's the backpack there. Oh wow. Give me some food. Accelerant? I'll take it. Okay, we're gonna take a moment to rest for an hour before we step off. Just to get that heat back. An hour will get us the heat back for sure. Or well, most of it at least. We'll drink some water. How much we got? One litre potable. See, you go through it. You have to have a plan. I got a little bit. All right, let's head this way. We need to go a direction. I'm not super familiar. I don't remember the logging camp, to be honest. I mean, clearly there's a path. Wolves behind us. I think this seems as sensible as any plan to follow this. Seems like a road access way for logging trucks, you know? Yeah, we're definitely on a road. I'm, I'm very much used to following the train tracks on this map. Really try to keep an eye out for little critters. Frostbite risk. <sighs> what am I looking at there? I think that's a spotlight, perhaps. Okay. Stones definitely need them. All right, we need to get in from the cold. And we need to eat. 
Backwards isn't really a good option at this point. But look at this, there's a radio tower up there. Okay, maybe we can make something of that. My fingers feel numb. I bet they do, mate. We're gonna persevere up to the summit, see what's up there. Any caves or anything on the way up? Doesn't look like it. Oh mate, keep it together. Definitely a bit cold. Gotta be careful getting frostbite, it's very hard to come back from. Takes a chunk of your health bar and it's one of those you have to spend days and days and days looking after you, dude, to recover it. So cold. It's a dead body up there for us to look at. Nice. Be a good view to at least figure out what we're going to do from here. Oh, there's already a campfire here. Save me having to build one. Okay. Um, break down? No way known. I mean, I'll take the charcoal. But let's start this fire. Tinder, nothing. Uh, hang on, we can craft a tinder plug, I believe. There we go, let's craft that. Let's get some bloody accelerant going. Looks like it worked. Yeah, you reckon? Wilderness Kitchen. I've already read it, right? So I can chuck that on the Barbie. An hour. Give it a chance to get some heat up. They the the time to burn isn't the only statistic. There's also a. Uh, the intensity of the heat, you can see the temperatures coming up on it. It's just a normal book, which we could throw on the fire, to be honest. Should help bring that temperature up. Come on, hotter. 11 degrees, a stick will get me an extra 1 degree. Get three degrees out of the reclaimed wood. Okay, that's good. Well, there's quite a few things to search for around here. Hmm. Interesting. So we've got like a cooking spot here. Same story. Let's, uh... This is what I'm going to do. We'll just melt snow. And we can camp craft. How long is it going to last? At least an hour. Feels like good. So I'm going to sleep for an hour next to the fire. And that'll create a save state. You can only save going through doors or sleeping. Well, we got to be careful that the... Yeah. I've healed the hypothermia risk, but my fire might be in trouble now that it's starting to whip up. Crazy. And my water's boiling over as well. Oh, look at this. Timed that well. Actually, that's... Oh, I lost the water. No good. I'll have to just collect it. But the save state was so we could finish up there, so we'll basically come back to that from, from here. This is crazy, and we probably could have a scout off the region, we'll, we'll collect everything. Maybe I can get up there to have a bit of a look and, and figure out where the sort of ranger cabin is, because that's a pretty handy place to know about. And, uh, yeah, that worked out fairly well. Not a bad start, to be perfectly honest, team. And, uh, you know what, I'm pretty happy, like, I'm no expert at this game. It's good to be starting back in the beginning region, so I can sort of get more comfortable with it all over again. Anyway, team, let me know if you didn't know about this game. 
Um, and if you want to see more, of course, if you've been with the channel for a while, you're probably well aware of my love for this game, and we've stopped and started it over the years quite a bit. Anyway, we might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.